guys, welcome back to the Land Rover Series 1 Club YouTube channel. In this video, we are looking at the different engine types, and we're starting with this, which is, a, I believe, this is 1.6. Yep, the very first Land Rover engine they did in the Series 1 Land Rover was the 1600cc engine. Okay, how can I be sure that I'm looking at a 1.6 car? The big giveaways on the 1600 are mainly the aluminium cast components which adorn the engine. On your side, you've got over there is the oil filler, which is a bit of a, a sort of a chimney sticking up from the side rocker. Uh, with a cap, a screw cap on top. Okay. And down on that side of the engine as well, um, we have the oil filtration system, which was on the early engines, which was known as a bypass filter, and that's the big silver can underneath it with pipes going. Oh, in I and see. Out. Down, down here. That's right. Okay. Coming up to the top of the engine on the top rocker cover, a one long cast unit. Um, the later ones had a breather assembly at the front, sticking up, fairly obvious. But the early system only had a small uh, breather outlet at the back which fed back into the air intake system. Right, okay. Is there anything else? Yeah, one other thing on the subject of breathing the engine, uh, the crankcase breather was given by this metal pipe which came up the side of the block on this side and again back into the air intake. So that's 1.6 and I also did a two litre as well. Two litre engine like this one here, this is the early version of the two litre engine being a Siamese bore okay. construction. The similarities are that they still had a bypass oil filter system down on that side. I see that, but there's a few differences up yeah, here as well. Well, that's, that's about where the commonality stopped. Um, the, the rocker covers, both side and top, are now changed. So nearest you, we've instead of the aluminium chimney, yes. we've got this steel one with a sort of a mushroom cap on top. Yep. So that allowed the crankcase to breathe. Coming up to the top rocker cover, We've got the mushroom style breather at the front of it, allowing the rocker cover on the top to breathe. Yeah, but there's nothing at the back. Nothing there. at the back, they deleted that. And what about the uh, breathe at the side? We haven't got that in. No, that was deleted because it was now kept into the side rocker. Got you. So this is a Siamese ball. Siamese ball. And so, what was the difference between this and our, and it was a spread ball? That's it? right. The, the, the orientation of the pistons on the Siamese bore were the same as what was on the 1.6. It was just bored out larger to two litres. Right. When they came to the spread bore, the, the piston shape, if, if looked at from above on the block, is a sort of a cartoon footprint style. And when they bored it out larger, the area, the flat area of land between pistons one and two and three and four got quite small. So it was prone, it was a weakness and prone to blowing between those. So when they cut the spread bore, they pivoted it about the heel point of a cartoon footprint style so that the gap in the area was made larger. Right, but that's all on the inside of the engine. Looking at the block on the outside here, how am I going to be able to tell the difference? Between a spread and a Siamese? Yes. The only difference you can tell from the outside is that the oil filtration system changed from a bypass to what's called a full flow filter on the opposite side of the block. Where you see the difference on the spread bore is on my side of the engine here, underneath the inlet manifold, uh, there is a cartridge type filter assembly um, in, a, in a black metal housing. Right, so that filter assembly down here is now gone, we've, but we've still got the same mushroom top here and the same mushroom top on the oil fill, Correct. filler there. Right, well that's me informed. Hopefully you also found that just as informative and you enjoyed this video. If you did, underneath this video you'll find a subscribe button. Hit that and you'll get loads more great content from the Land Rover Series 1. Club.